Hello everyone, as you know I am Paul your eHobby guy and today we are going to look at this very old laptop power supply. Now in here it says lithium ion and I from watching a lot of stuff was told that there are a bunch of these lithium ion batteries in old laptop battery packs. These batteries are used in so many applications and I'm told that we can harvest these batteries and reuse them depending on their age. But uh, I did come across this being thrown away. Um, this is, uh, by the way, it's an 18650. They come with varying capacities. Uh, I'm curious as to what might be inside of this. Let's see if we can rip it open, see what's inside, and see if we can find something that we can use. So let's jump right in. Okay, to get started, I'm just going to see, uh, how, well, that's coming off pretty easily, so I don't, let's just see if uh, that wasn't difficult at all. All right, getting somewhere. That wasn't doing too much. Um, I may have to bust out my Dremel. Wow, look what I found. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve batteries. All right, that didn't take too long at all. So, I can see what we have here. This is circuit protection, overcurrent. Um, over voltage charging protection and presumably um, over discharging protection uh, let's get them apart a little further yes so it looks like these black are just placeholders so they're just little black tubes and so it looks like we're getting eight 18650 batteries now there are some of these batteries with built-in circuit protection right in at the head here I don't think that's the case here because we have um, the circuit protection here for um, overcharge and over discharge protection so let's see what we've got These are completely dead as we can see. Absolutely dead as expected. This was really old. We have sets of two batteries, two batteries, two batteries, and two batteries. And so at 3.7 volts under um, nominal voltage for each cell, these two paralleled is still 3.7, doubling the capacity. So this is 3.7 here in series with this. And so this 3.7 and this 3.7 is in series with this 3.7 and is in series with this 3.7. So 4 times 3.7, 14.8 volts. 14.8 volts DC. It's exactly what we found. So I'm going to just completely disregard all of this and disconnect all of them. And then I'm just going to take a look at each one and see if we can actually get some kind of a charge into these cells and see if it's anything uh, that's going to be usable. I put one of these batteries into this uh, single battery holder 
It's attached to this TP4056 module, which is a charging module. And I haven't hooked up the charging supply yet, which is a 5 volt. And I just want to see what's going to happen. This can charge up to 1 amp. And I just want to see if it accepts the charge at all. It may be garbage, and I guess that's my mission, is to find out if there's something I can do to uh, reclaim these batteries from an old laptop battery. And so... Um, let me hook up the charging voltage, which is set to 5 volts. The indication should be a red LED to be charging, and it seems to be a flashing blue, and it is not charging. And so let me switch over to the power supply, which is also showing me current. Yeah, there's my power supply, 5.03 volts, and 0 amps flowing, and so clearly this battery is not accepting a charge. I'm going to switch over and try a couple more. Uh, after that, we'll try something else. Okay, well, I've tried everything I possibly can to um, force very low current into these, which is what I read about trying to reclaim batteries like this. And so I used this buck converter in constant current mode to try and force very low currents into these um, and I tried every single one of them and I went right down trying 5 milliamps, 10 milliamps, 20 milliamps nothing worked on any of them these are all going to be garbage and so I'm gonna have to find out how to dispose of these properly I have to make a phone call or look up uh, my local website for my town on how to dispose of these properly um, and so this time it's a bust. I was hoping to be able to uh, get some value out of these and possibly make a power bank, but they are just too old. I'm suspecting they're probably 20 years old and they are fully dead and irredeemable. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to jump over to one more thing to see if there's something we can do here in the spirit of these 18650 batteries. Okay, so here I have a uh, power bank, battery power bank. Looks like um, probably there's four of these 18650s in here. Um, and I really like this one. Um, it's still good, except for one big problem. The, uh, the micro USB connector is got pushed in, it, it broke off. And so what I was thinking of doing was trying to get this apart and Get this epoxy back into place so that I can start using it again. It has a um, you know, battery meter here. It actually has a light as well. And so I don't care too much about how it looks. Um, and I, but I definitely do not want to damage the circuitry uh, and handle it as roughly as I did the last one. We just ripped apart the laptop battery. And so let's take a look. And I'll see if I can repair this without doing any damage. Okay, well, it seems like this white portion here, and I've, I've done some damage. I have nothing to lose at this point, but it appears like this white portion is about this big. And so I do think I'll get my Dremel and lightly score it around here. See if I can get into uh, this micro USB connector in that way. I'm getting a little further. Obviously more and more destruction. Yeah, there you can see the 18650s. Okay, well that didn't uh, go as well as I would have planned. I still have to get into this white box, but I see... There it is. My micro USB charging port, this connector. Um, so I'm probably going to have to cut into this white box yeah it's attached to the top of the batteries so I'm probably gonna have to break in into it around the bottom here
Okay, everyone, so I got to a point where I'm charging these batteries. So, what I did, because I had to rip this board off, and you can see it was a pretty destructive process to get this disassembled, but I know that these batteries are good, so I was determined to get to a point where I got this working again. The whole reason for this teardown was this micro USB connector. Um, it was mounted right here, positive here. I, I soldered on a positive wire here and a negative right there. So this was soldered right on there, but there was no real mechanical strength. Even soldering it on back now, it would come off pretty easily. Um, there should be pins at either side of this going right into the board to give it some mechanical strength when you're pushing and pulling out the micro USB power cord. And so I just jumped this red and this black. Are, they were wired directly to the batteries and that's how they're wired right now. So I just put jumper cables on them going up here and it's charging. That flashing blue is one of four blue LEDs. And so if I press this status light right here, it'll flash all four and then it'll go back to the charge um, that it's that it is at it's in the first 25% of charge. I know it's working I know these batteries are good and so my task at hand right now uh, would be to put this all back together again and guess what that's just not happening <laughs> so I had to just rip this to pieces it was either that or throw it away so at a minimum I've got four good lithium-ion batteries um, over 1200 I'm sorry, 12,000 milliamp hours. I'm not going to use this. Um, I'm, I'm going to just throw this away. I'll scavenge this USB connector and I'll throw that away. And I'll use just a regular bar barrel connector. This is not the first time I've had a problem like this with mi micro USB. In fact, mini USB to me was a lot more, you know, mechanically sound. Uh, it could definitely uh, endure more abuse than micro USBs for all the devices that we use. Anyway, I'm going to throw all of this away, scavenge this USB off, maybe these LEDs, and I'm going to take, the, take uh, the batteries and I'm going to use them for something else. In fact, I'm going to make a four battery power bank. Just to show you really quickly here, um, I put the 5 volts on it and um, you can see that it's drawing 0.77 amps and it dropped the voltage down a little which is perfectly normal so I know it's uh, accepting um, a nice charge and so um, I'm actually happy that I know that I'm saving these four batteries I'm going to use them and I'm going to actually remake my own four battery power pack let's move on well, I let it charge for a few hours and it looks like right now we are over 75% charged. We have three solidly lit LEDs and one flashing LED. And so this is what it looks like fully charged, four solidly lit uh, blue LEDs. And now after having looked at this and see that it is working very well and all the circuitry is still in place, it's got uh, overcharge and over discharge protection already I think I will just utilize this to keep it as it is and just make a new enclosure of my own and uh, I'm gonna have my power bank back I am definitely not going to use the micro USB as a connector I'm just going to wire up a regular barrel jack uh, into my new housing but that I'll make a whole separate video so I hope this has been helpful to you Remember to give me a thumbs up on this video, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media, and don't forget to check me out at ehobbyguy.com. Thank you for watching.